Okay, let's talk about the last one that you mentioned to me in your single greatest challenge in doing business with the Fortune 500 with the big boys right now. And it is big customers don't know who you are, what you do, and your capabilities. This one I want to tell you is solely within your control. And if somebody doesn't know who you are, what you do, and what your capabilities are, that's an indicator that your marketing isn't working. Marketing is all about uh, knowing which products in front of which customers at which price. Marketing is not sales. Yes, yes, yes. You know, sales is different than marketing. And I want you to think about um, what you see going on. I don't know if you're a television watcher or not, but you look at commercials. And uh, you know, there's a number. There's a usual suspects for commercials. We have the Geico Gecko. We have the uh, Liberty Mutual Limu Emu. Uh, we have uh, Allstate, the um, the the Allstate pitch people, and so forth and so on. Now, you may not have a car. You may not drive. You may not. Uh, you may not know, uh, you may not do business with any of them. You may have someone else, but you can't say you don't know who these companies are. And that's marketing. You know who the companies are, including State Farm. You know who they are and you know what their products are. Because in those pitches, they put something in front of you so that you are brand aware, you are product aware, and you know what to do if you at some point decide you do want to go find out more. Well, as an XBE, as a small business owner, you have to be crafty like that in getting the word out about what you do. It shows up in everything that you touch. It shows up in your business cards. It shows up in your email. It shows up on your website. It shows up uh, when folks call your business. It shows up when you are out presenting, making a presentation or talking about your business. And so the way you begin to get at making sure people know who you are, what you do, what your capabilities are, is you share it with them. <laughs> but you don't necessarily have to share it in uh, a half day workshop or a full pitch, you can share it with them, similar to what you see advertised on the radio or television or on billboards, or other kinds of things. You come up with some type of messaging that clearly demonstrates what you do so that people have a good understanding of that before you even walk in the door. So, if we're talking about uh, getting to the big companies and them knowing more about what you do. And a lot of times you do it through influencers. You know, obviously, if you can um, be a part of an association that they're a part of, obviously, if you can join your, your business council, whether it's a women's business council, Hispanic council, a chambers of commerce or whatnot, where you become known and people start talking about you. Uh, before anybody else come before you come in the room, they know who you are before you got there. That's the power of these State Farm commercials. You know who they are. Uh, and then you see a sign in the strip shopping center on a building that says State Farm. It's like, oh, I know who that is. All right. Their marketing worked beforehand. Your website, your social media, there's a whole host of things you can do to make people aware of who you are before you even call them or try and reach out to them. Uh, one of the huge advantages that your uh, minority business council or your business council or associations and whatnot can do for you is once they are very clear on what you do and the value that you can offer to someone, they then can introduce you to folks so that uh, big corporations can find out more about you, who you are, what you do. But you have to make sure you give them sufficient information in order to differentiate who you are relative to the comp uh, the competition and what you actually can do for someone. And so uh, before we wrap this one up, I want to I want to make sure that I tell you that the worst thing that you can do for your business is leave the impression that uh, you just want an opportunity that you can do everything. And a lot of us got in the business trying to do a lot of different things. But I'm going to tell you right now, you need to be known for one thing. 
when it comes to your marketing, you want to be known for one thing. Now, once you get in the door, you might be able to do a whole host of things, but to get in the door, you want to be known for one thing. So if you had to pick the one thing that you wanted to be known for, for people to know you for, for you to be branded, for them to understand your capabilities, think through what that is and focus on that one thing and go from there. And that's how you solve big companies not knowing who you are. You just put your name out there, you turn the megaphone on, and um, you become known. <laughs> so, hey, uh, stay tuned for the live Q&A. There are instructions on how to join us for that. And by all means, you can click on the link in the email to uh, schedule a good fit chat. I'd love to know a little bit more about what you do and um, see if there's a way that I can support you. This is Randall signing off. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning into the series. Take care.